Yo, this is Noah. back and today I'm going to go over my first drop, talk about the meaning behind all the designs and we'll talk about how to put meaning into your own art. And I'm starting with this one just because I have it right here. This is the shirt, take a look at the back, probably the fan favorite design, definitely my favorite. Maybe the hoodie competes with it but I like this one a lot and this is one of the only ones from the first drop that is really thought out with the messages. This is a vulture sitting at a computer desk. And he's Googling how to be yourself. Coomer goods all over the place. He's got lotion spilled on his desk, a bobblehead. He's got a piece of paper that says dreams and it's all blank. It's about the, the identity crisis, about this, this modern age we live in and how young people are so lost in terms of who they are, who they're supposed to be, what should they be doing with their lives. I know this is literally something that I would think to myself all the time when I was a young kid. Because I was trying to talk to girls, I was trying to make new friends, I was trying to just be socially normal. And, you know, the advice everyone gives you is just be yourself, just be yourself, man. And that is the best advice you can give someone. But in this, in this day and age, I think kids literally do not understand how to be themselves. They don't know what that means. Because everywhere they look, all they see is people acting no one is being themselves so they're like what do you mean be myself i i am nothing i am not something to be when i was a little i was always like I, I don't know how to be myself take a look at the back again i just love the visual aesthetic of it the way it plays with different symbols and combines them so it's obviously a cross it represents god letting god guide you to be who you're supposed to be and then i put eyes on the cross i like to use eyes a lot it's kind of like representing awareness or like seeking the truth open your eyes and then if you look closely the eyes are actually little yin yangs i use yin yangs a lot it's a vulture yin yang made of two vulture skulls one white one black i use that on all sorts of stuff pretty obvious it represents balance the key aspect of life you do everything in a balanced way your life will be perfect but you can't do everything in a balanced way and that's why it's not perfect and then the heart at the bottom i always use a black heart i didn't do it in this case but i like the contrast of using a white cross and a black heart kind of represents that humans are naturally evil or or have darkness in them naturally and god is what brings the light god is what adds the goodness to people so white cross black heart i use black heart a lot kind of represents the flawed nature of humans but the fact that you can overcome that. This wasn't something that I had a super detailed plan about. It just kind of popped into my head. At first, it was just all I had was vulture searching how to be yourself. But then I was like, well, you know, it just kind of came naturally. I was like, well, I can add some aspects of like, what does it look like when you're struggling with your identity and when you are living an unhealthy lifestyle? Uh, what is your room going to look like? So that's, that's what I was going for with this. Representing the type of person who... I'm aiming to reach with this brand, someone who feels lost, who is not living the way they want to, and who is, who is seeking the truth. That's who Vulture is for, and that's why I made this shirt. This is heat transfer vinyl. That's not the highest quality way to make stuff. The second drop is going to be heat transfer vinyl again for budget purposes, but in the future, I'm looking into different means of upping our quality, and I'm going to be remaking this t-shirt. I'm going to make How to Be Yourself stand out more. It's going to be popping out, so it's really clear what the message of this shirt is. I was going for kind of a painter vibe when I made this piece, and looking back, you, you don't really want that type of fine detail on a shirt. You want that thing to pop, and that's something LaRue from Stellar Human pointed out to me. Shouts out to him. Keep an eye out for that. I talked about in the first video the uh, Vulture Skull Tee. I call it the Warning Shirt. It's This is your possible future. This is what it's going to look like if you don't get it together. Your life is short and uh, you really need to you need to figure yourself out spiritually. You need to figure yourself out health-wise. You may be young, but that shit flies. And if you don't do it, those around you will. And then you'll be looking around and you'll be like, you know, what happened? So that's what that shirt represents. I don't think anyone is going to know that by looking at it. But that's kind of the beauty of art is that you can put as much meaning as you want. You can make this the deepest thing and, and you could write a whole essay about what it means to you. And someone else might look at it and be like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Looking. And that's not a bad thing. I think that's actually great. 
and I feel like having the meaning in it just gives it a sort of essence. So even if people are looking at it and they have no clue what it means, they can almost feel that energy coming off of it. They're like, this is something to someone. This has a meaning. And that's what art really is to me. So I think that's an important thing to keep in mind if you're trying to make your own art, especially with clothes. It needs to have a meaning. It needs to mean something to you. But you don't necessarily have to spell it out. You don't have to make it picture perfect, exactly clear what this is about, unless you think it's that important. You know, there are certain designs where I, where I kind of will spoon feed it to you because I think it's an important enough message that I want people walking around with it just in your face on their shirt. Like, this is what I'm trying to say. But sometimes a little more subtlety goes a long way. A vulture clothing company... There's not a whole lot of symbolism to it. It's a pretty simple concept. Um, I use that Trinity thing where it's the front facing vulture and then it's the side one and then the opposite facing one. I use that on a lot of different stuff. Again, that represents God because it's the Holy Trinity. I also use it because of rule of thirds, what I call the rule of thirds. This is not a known thing, I don't think. Rule of thirds is mind, body, spirit. That's what you focus on. Speaking of which, the keep it simple hoodie. It's a hand that only has three fingers. That hand represents a vulture claw because the vulture has three fingers. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know if that's anatomically correct. I think there are species of vulture that have three claws, but a lot of them have more. But that's how I draw it, and that's how I'm going to continue to draw it because it represents something to me. It's the mind, the body, and the spirit. The three aspects of life that you need to focus on and the only three things you need to focus on. It's about being a vulture. That's what brand, this brand kind of represents. You should live your life like a vulture. Um, originally, I had it saying along the side, it said something else, and then it said rule of thirds. To be honest, I kind of wish I kept rule of thirds on there somewhere. I just wanted to simplify it, so I took it out. Skulls on the side. Doesn't mean anything. It's just like kind of a way for you to put the hood on, and it's like, you know, you look like a vulture. Eventually, I want to make a full zip uh, vulture skull hoodie. I think that's a no-brainer. It just... It's perfect. But uh, this is another good example where it's like someone's going to look at that hoodie and they're going to have no clue what that means. Keep it simple. Finger with three hands. Like when people see that, they're like, what is that? Is it supposed to be an alien? You know, it's not it's not super clear, but I think people can look at it and sense like there's something to it. It's not just random. And I just think that gives it more impact. We got the back of the, the vulture coty with the Trinity thing. Then the back is the spinning vultures. Again, I'm going to be honest with you, it really doesn't represent anything. Sometimes I come up with the design without any idea in mind. And then afterwards, I'll be like, maybe this is what it means. And that's where I get into this belief that I think ideas are bestowed upon you. I think God and the devil is capable of it too, I believe. But they will put ideas into your head and you think you came up with it, but it really was just materialized like that. And that's part of why I think that is because a lot of times I'll make something, I think it has no meaning, and then afterwards I'm like, oh, this means this. That's actually what it was the whole time. I just didn't realize it. So maybe I should think about that spinning vultures thing. Maybe it does have a meaning. I'm not aware of it right now, though. The other design in this first drop was the faces T. Now that is another one where I drew it without any real meaning in mind. Uh, it's kind of inspired by the album cover, Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing by Discharge. So I kind of did the box and then it's like a scramble of different face parts with a vulture skull in the middle. The only meaning that I've really derived from that is I like um, like distorted looking or disjointed pieces of people in art to me it represents the way that the human form is being manipulated today and the way that we are really perverting our view of what it is to be human and we are distorting ourselves and turning ourselves into almost like mutant creatures you know with the way we eat with the way we live our lives with the way we are identifying ourselves and and mutilating ourselves i think it's horrendous personally and I like to make art that just super exaggerates the destruction of the human form. And it could also kind of play into the whole identity crisis thing. The distorted face is almost like the idea that you can't even identify yourself. You're like a jumble of all these different pieces of people and you can't make out 
what is you and what's not. I just came up with that on the spot. I'm going to be 100% real with you, but that resonates very hard with me. And I don't want you guys to think that I'm just drawing random shit and then making stuff up afterwards. But sometimes that is really how it happens, you know? Like, the idea comes, and then you kind of ponder it, and you're like, oh, this kind of does have a meaning, and it fits perfectly. That's really how this whole brand came together. I don't want you guys to think that when you're sitting down trying to start some type of art thing, that you have to have, like, a concrete message, like, this is the point when you start. You know, you're probably going to start just trying to make something that looks cool. And that's fine. I just think it's really important to evolve beyond that eventually. You know, it might take a period of time. For me, it happened pretty quick. And I kind of, it perfectly coincided with this huge shift in my own life. Where I was discovering a lot of things about myself and about the world. And I had this whole breakthrough and Vulture was a result of that. I think that's what the best art comes from, is, is huge shifts in energy and in life. And if you're living your life and you're consistently making art, you're going to come up with something incredible. You just got to stay consistent, keep doing it. And you might never get anywhere with it, financially speaking, but I still think it's worth it. I am very confident that this brand is going somewhere and it is going to make me money. But even if it never does, I know God is calling me to do this for a reason. And it's not about making money, it's about spreading a message, and it's about helping people. So, I will be doing this for the rest of my life. That's really all I got to say. I appreciate you watching. Keep an eye out. May 20th is the second drop. It's a Boy Scout theme, and it's fire. So don't miss out. Come see the pop-up shop. Stellar Human, 128 Robinson Street, Binghamton, New York. Come cop, because you never know. We might sell out right there. It could happen. But yeah, have a blessed day. Find God. I love you. Peace.